creating impressive charts with reaction labels can greatly enhance your data visualization. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I show you how to turn a dull report into an amazing dynamic chart with emojis that tells the story about your data. So let's see the finished project. Here is my source data where I have in column A a list of managers. In column B, I have the sales amount for the summer. In column C, I have the sales amount for each manager for the fall. And then in column D, I have the sales amount for the winter. In cell B1, we have a sales goal. Some of the employees hit the sales goal and some didn't. So I would like to visualize this data in a way that the decision maker will be able to make an informed business decision. And here is my finished project. On this worksheet, I see the sales goal and I see the list of managers and I see the sales amount for one single season. I represented the numbers on a column chart. The green columns represent the employees who hit the target. And for each column, we have a smiling face. While those employees who did not hit the target appear in the red column with a sad face. I have a custom legend, and then everything is dynamic. If you want to see the sales for another season, then you click on cell B3, click on the down arrow and select the summer. Everything automatically updates. If you click on the down arrow and select winter, then everything automatically updates. Now let's build this project from ground up in Excel. Here is my start file. I have the data worksheet, and I would like to copy all the data to another worksheet. I select it, Control C, and then I go to the start worksheet and I paste Control V. I want to keep the original column width, and then I select the same numbers from cell A3 down to D9. I copy them, Control C, and in A13, I'm going to paste them one more time. After copying all the data, I'm going to remove all the numbers from the top list. I hit delete. And now I want to create a drop list in cell B3. To create a drop list, I go to the data tab of the ribbon and to the right side of the data tab, I click on data validation. I select list and I put my blinking cursor in the source box and I select the three seasons. I hit OK. Now I have a drop list in cell B3 and I want to change the labels in cell C3 and D3. In C3, I type mat. And then in D3, I type gold. I select cell B4, and I want to extract the numbers for any season I select from the drop list. And I do that by creating an XLOOKUP function. I type equal XLOOKUP, and then I hit tab. My lookup value will be B3, the drop list. I type a comma, and then I look for it in the top row of the second list, comma, and my return array will be all the values from the second list. I close the bracket and hit enter, and I would have extracted all the numbers corresponding to summer. If I want to switch to fall, I select fall, and all the numbers change. If I want to switch to winter, all the numbers change. I'll go back to summer. In cell C4, I would like to create a function that returns the sales amount only for the employees who hit the target. That will be an if function, equal if, and then I hit tab. I look at the first amount, and I want to lock the column because I have the intention of copying to the right. I hit F4 three times, and I ask, is it greater than or equal than the sales goal in cell B1? And I hit F4 to lock cell B1. I type a comma. If the employee hits the target, I want to return the value from cell B4. I lock the column by hitting F4 three times, and then I type a comma. What's the value if false? If the employee does not hit the target, I don't want to return anything, so I type double quote, double quote. I close the bracket, and then I hit end. I'm going to copy down and to the right. I click and drag to copy down. I want to fill without formatting. Then I select the options tag, and I click on fill without formatting. I do the same to copy to the right and I want to fill without formatting. For column D, I want to replace the value if true and the value if false by two emojis. And I'm going to do that by selecting all the range. I put my function in the edit mode F2. 
I select the value if true, which is B4, and in double quotation, I type a smiling face. I type an opening double quotation, and then I press Windows period to open the emojis dialog box. And from here, you can select the emojis you want, and I'll be selecting a smiling face. I close the double quote, and between the double quotation of the value if false, I want a sad face if the employee does not hit the target. We don't expect that employee to be happy. So I press Windows period and I select a sad face for this employee and I hit Control Enter to populate my function. Now we are ready to start creating our chart, a default column chart. Then I select the labels in column A and the numbers in column B. Remember the numbers in column B will change based upon our selection from the drop list. I hit Alt F1 to create a default column chart. And in the default column chart, I need to make some improvements. I'm going to click on the horizontal line, the horizontal grid lines, I hit delete. I also want to delete the vertical axis. I select it and then I hit delete. I want to reduce the gap between the different columns. I click on one of the columns and I hit the shortcut Control-1 to open the Format Data Series pane. And I want to reduce the gap between the different columns. Let's make it 115. So I reduce the gap. I can, by the way, change the color of these columns. And I'm going to do that on the Format tab of the ribbon. I click on Format. I click on the down arrow for shape fill and let's make it red. Also, I want to add like a bevel effect without actually beveling. I click on shape effect. I hover over shadow and I select an inner shadow. That looks nice. I also want to make modifications to the chart title. So I drag the chart a little bit down and I prepare for a dynamic chart title in cell F1 by typing an equal sign and then I click on the label coming from cell B3, my drop list. And then I use the joining operator of Excel, Shift 7 on the keyboard. And in double quotes, I type a space followed by sales goal by manager. I close the double quotation and then I hit enter. To create a dynamic chart title, I select the chart title. I drag it to the left. I want to position it on the left side. And then I hit F2. To put it in the edit mode, you will see the blinking cursor in the formula bar. Type an equal sign and then click on cell F1. When you hit enter, you would have created a dynamic label. We can format that label, make it black if we want. We can make any formatting modifications we wish. We want to continue making our chart more informative by adding the reaction, by adding the emojis. So I'm going to click on the plus sign, the chart element button in the upper right corner. And then I hover over data label. From the sub menu, I select more options. I get the format data label pane. I go to the label options. I click on label options to expand. And I want to select value from cell. When I click on value from cell, it asks me, where are the values you want to bring? In this dialog box, I click and drag to select all the emojis in column D. And then I hit OK. When I do that, I can see the emoji and the value. I don't want the value. So from the same pane, I'm going to take the check away from value. It keeps only the emoji and that's fine. They are too small in size. I want to make them much bigger. I format them like regular font. On the Home tab, I click on the down arrow for the font size and let's make them size 16. My next step will be adding a second data series. I click on the outer border of the chart and then I right click and from the right click menu, I select data. In the select data source dialog box, I click on add. In the edit series dialog box, I can give a name to the new series. I can name it numbers. You can name it whatever you want. And for the series values, I delete whatever I have and I select the numbers in column C. When I hit OK and another OK, I would have created a second series. I want to change the color of the second series to green. Then I click on one of the columns in the second series. I go to the Format tab and I want to change it to green. 
to match the style that we created, I'm going to add an inner shadow effect by clicking on Shape Effects, Shadow, and then Inner Shadow. We want the green and red series to perfectly overlap each other. And to do that, I hit the shortcut Control 1. And for the series overlap, I'm going to change it to 100%. Now the columns are perfectly overlapping each other. What you see in green, this is the second data series. But because some of the employees did not hit the target, they don't have a column in the second series, and it reveals the column in red from the first data series. Now I want to improve the appearance of the data labels of the second series. I click on one of them, it selects all of them, and I hit the shortcut Control 1, to open the Format Data Label pane. In the Format Data Label pane, I want to change the position. Then I select Inside Base. I want to rotate the data labels. Then I click on Size and Property. And I want to change the text direction. I click on Text Direction and I select Rotate All Text 270 Degrees. I can format the text on the Home tab. I can format the data labels. I bump them up, maybe to 11, and I can make them white to stand out. The final thing I want to do is to create a custom legend. And the custom legend is nothing but two shapes and two text boxes that I adjust and I put together. So when I look at the green column, I know that these managers met the target. And when I look at the red column, I know that these managers did not meet the target. I created my custom legend, which shows a green square for the employees who met the target and the red square for the employees who did not meet the target. I adjusted the size and I arranged them and I grouped them all together. In preparation for testing our project, I click on the outer border of the chart and I would like to add a black border. I click on the Format tab, Shape Outline. I select a black outline and I want to make it much thicker than for the weight. I select six points. That looks much better. Now I would like to hide all the preparation values. I start by selecting cell F1. And I want to change the font color to white. I want to select the range from C3 to D9. I don't want a fill color. I want the font to be white. And I don't want borders. So I select no borders. And then I select the list from A3 down to D19. And I don't want a fill color. I want a white font. And I don't want any borders, no borders. And now I can remove the grid lines, reposition my beautiful chart. So I go to the View tab, uncheck grid lines, and then I want to move my chart. I select the legend, I press Shift and click on the chart, and I want to move them together. And I position my chart to the right side of my drop list. Now I can test. I click on cell B3. I want to switch from summer, let's say, to fall. Everything is beautiful and dynamic. I see the employees who met the target and those who did not meet the target. My chart title is dynamic. And if I change from fall to winter, everything updates accordingly. A little bonus tip for you, in case you want your chart to cover the data completely, you can create the same functionality by using scenarios. And here is how it will look like. In this worksheet, I created the same exact project, but instead of using drop lists, I used scenarios. And I added the scenarios to the quick access toolbar from where I can switch from summer to fall to winter. You can learn how I created this functionality by watching my tutorial about scenario and scenario manager. The link is in the description below the video. If I click on the down arrow and I select fall, now I can see the fall values. If I select winter, everything updates. If I click on the down arrow and I select summer, everything is beautiful and dynamic. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. 
and make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when your tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.